There are new multiplayer games constantly releasing on Steam, and sometimes it can be hard to choose which ones are good to play. A good co-op game can provide many hours of enjoyment with a friend or two, and I think the time spent with others is way more fun than just playing a single player game by yourself. Most of these games do have single player options, so you can still play them if all your friends are offline. One thing I need to mention is that these games are online co-op, not local or couch co-op. We already do have a video on those types of games, so if you're interested in those, then check out the link in the description. I'm Jay from Keyboard Gaming, and these are the best free Steam games to play with friends. Jelly Brawl Classic is an arena versus game where you play as a blob with the goal of destroying other blobs. The most common way to win is by knocking your opponents off the platform, but there are other ways like using power-ups or letting environmental obstacles destroy them. Some of the power-ups are really overpowered, like turning into an insta-kill saw blade or a cannon that'll blast people off the map. The more you play the game, the more stages you'll unlock. The multiplayer servers are pretty dead at this point, so it's only worth getting if you want to play with friends or just to play it single player. Since this is the free version of a full paid game, there's only the classic game mode available. The full version includes fun stuff like races, but I think the classic mode will be more than enough for most people. It's a simple game that'll be very fun to play with a group of friends, so I recommend checking it out. Symbiotic Dungeon is a top-down shooter that you can play with up to four people. Three people are what they call runners, and there is a person that they call a sentinel who is against the three runners. The runner's job is to try and get through all the robots and traps in their way, and the sentinel is there to try and stop them. You can place down drones and traps all over the place to slow them down, and you need to use strategy to finally take all three of them out. It definitely is a very unique arena shooter, and one that you can play with your friends. There are servers in the game, but if you try and load up a server online, you most likely won't find a game because not a lot of people know about it. It's not a very big game, but it has a lot of different ways to play. It is free, so you can't really complain about anything, unless the game is completely unplayable. This game is totally playable, and it is extremely easy to run. It definitely is one of those gems that most people have no idea exists. If you want a fun arena shooter that you can play with your friends, this one is definitely worth checking out. Get Stuffed is an incredible game that goes widely overlooked and honestly, I had no idea existed until doing research for this video. If you can imagine a game that combines Dead by Daylight and Among Us, well, then you don't need to imagine anymore because Get Stuffed is that game. This game is definitely one of those gaming highlight types. You not only have a killer going after you and trying to stuff you, but one of your friends could also be against you as well. Meaning there are three roles in the game, and you don't really get that too often. The game does have some glitches here and there, but honestly, I'm so surprised that this game isn't a massive hit yet. It has so much potential, and honestly, it has one of those Among Us type match reactions that I could see this becoming a big title. Obviously, this game is not only great to play alone, but it almost seems to be made to play with your friends. I really recommend giving the game a try. Eraser is a simple stick figure game where the goal is to reach the top of the map and get the eraser. I'm not really sure why the stick figures want the eraser so badly, but it's just a really weird concept and I'm not really going to question it. If you've ever played those rage games like Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy, then you already know what type of game this is. It's a rage game that can be played with friends who can either help you or hinder you. If a mistake is made or a friend pushes you off the platform, you'll fall quite a ways down sometimes all the way to the bottom. This can be a fun time for people who enjoy working with friends, but also for people who just want to make their friends rage and hate them. As you get higher in the world, the obstacles become more difficult and riskier, forcing you to jump over insane heights or use quick reflexes to dodge and parry enemies. The game's concept is a bit odd for sure, but with the right people, this game could provide a few hours of enjoyment. Goose Goose Duck is literally an Among Us clone. You've probably seen it on Steam before and thought how dumb it is, but it's actually pretty fun. 
It has one thing that Vanilla Among Us doesn't have, and that is proximity chat. It's an exact copy of Among Us with a bunch of improvements, like the frame rate is capped to whatever your refresh rate is. It looks like a dumb game, but it's actually pretty fun if you can get past the fact that you're all geese. There's even a crafting system, so you can craft cosmetics within each map. You can collect pieces and then build yourself an arsenal of customization options, which is pretty unique. There are also a ton of roles you can choose from, and when you make a lobby, you can make the game as simple or as complicated as you want. If you enjoy Among Us, then you will enjoy this game. Maybe even like it better because of all the extra content it gives you. And you can even set up private lobbies with your friends. If you need a game to play with friends for a few hours, Red Match 2 is a game you need. Red Match is an extremely fast-paced arena shooter where you really just have an all-out blitz type of match. Oddly enough, it kind of reminds me of something you'd find on Roblox, and not in a bad way either. Like one of those little games that you find on Roblox and end up playing for hours on end. It honestly has some great mechanics like wall running, grappling hooks, sliding, and best of all, your characters are little bean pills. I wouldn't write this one off just on the look of things. It really does have a lot of replayability, and it's a fun little sandbox PvP shooter that is a lot of fun with friends. Sherwood Extreme is a third-person shooter where you use a crossbow and crazy parkour moves to defeat enemies and speedrun levels. The game has a very indie feel to it, but the concept and gameplay are both extremely interesting to play. You can zipline down cliffs, destroy physics objects with explosives, and shoot enemies with a crossbow while in slow motion. One thing I really love about this game is the environment coupled with the art style. Sherwood Extreme is insanely fun in just single player alone, and adding a friend will only add to the chaos that can happen. For a smaller game, it does have some sort of battle pass system, but you can still play all the levels without paying any money. I can see the gameplay loop getting repetitive after a while, but for a few hours it'll make for a great game to play, especially with a friend. Dirty Bomb is one of those classic games that you played years ago. If you have never heard of it, it's pretty much a TF2 clone, but it is more realistic. You get to choose from a bunch of operators, and each of them has their own loadout. The gunplay is actually very satisfying, especially if you are using the revolvers, and the maps are very well designed. There are two game modes, and the best one is called Objective. You need to repair a vehicle, and then defend it while it makes its way to the enemy objective. You then use it to destroy a wave into the enemy base, and then you are going to want to plant C4 onto their objective. Once it explodes, you win. The whole time, the enemy team is trying to stop you from doing all of that, so it's your job to multitask to complete your objective. This is a relatively old game, but the graphics are actually pretty good. If you enjoy first person shooters with great gunplay, then maybe you should check out Dirty Bomb and see if you like it. SCP Secret Laboratory is a game that has so much nostalgia for me. A few years ago, the Keyboard crew would play it all the time with our subscribers late into the night, and it has some of my favorite memories from gaming. We still play it to this day, and they have updated the game so much, it really has come a long way. I currently have over 70 hours in the game, and it's extremely rare to find a free multiplayer game that offers you that much replayability without feeling stale at all. If you don't know what SCP Secret Laboratory is, the lore centers around the SCP Foundation and their containment of strange and supernatural creatures and or objects. It's a really cool concept and I suggest you search for SCP on YouTube and just watch some of the lore videos out there. The entire lore is built from the community and the game has one of the funniest and weirdest communities I've ever experienced. You could also watch a quick tutorial video that's on our channel for how to play Secret Laboratory in 5 minutes or less. It may be a little out of date because of the recent updates, but it can get you caught up pretty quickly on how to play, and you can see how much the game has improved since then. SCP Secret Laboratory is seriously one of my favorite games of all time, and not only is it great to play in general, it's even better to play with friends. Alright, well that's going to be it for this video. We hope you were able to find some games to play with your friends. Feel free to leave a comment down below of some free games that you know of that are great to play with friends. 
Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.